I'm kind of a bit ner nervous and scared at the same time. When I was when I was first announced, I was doing Orpheus the Mythical, but I knew that this was going I this was going to happen eventually. And I think it was time I umped my performance skills to the West End. He has promised me a night with a cane. That's right. He has promised me a night to remember. When the whirlpool tries to drag you under, and your sails are torn asunder, how do you get back where you Sometimes all that's needed is a song. When the chance first came, I was, I was, I felt so many different things. I was scared, I was happy, I was, I was nervous, but the fact that someone chose me um, was such a big, um, um, chance for me because I've never been given uh, this kind of chance and to be chosen it was a really big thing. We go out and perform as often as we can because part of the part of the job of the students actually is to get up there on a stage sing and everybody says oh I didn't know they could do that so we've done that at Glastonbury we've done it at the Royal Opera House We've done it at Buckingham Palace, we've done it at Windsor Castle for the Queen's 80th birthday. And yeah, each audience says the same thing. I didn't know they could do that. People who come from outside and when they come in and work with our students, they may have a, a preset idea of what young people with disabilities can do. So when they do come in and see the amazing music and drama and the energy, which I think is a really key thing, our students have a lot of energy and drive, when they see that, that inspires them to almost say, if these young people can be energised and really passionate about it and can do these things, why can't we? Come in. We've got Lauren. Hi. And Siobhan. And another Ben, Benjamin. I think, well, what I'm hoping to learn uh, personally is how to be really generous as an actor, but also as a person. Um, getting to meet all these really unique people and learning how to adapt and work with them specifically, because every person is going to be different and you want to help bring out the best in them. And I've never worked with actors like this before in this sort of capacity, so it'll be really interesting um, for me to see them bring the story to life, which is what we do. Okay, yeah. Benjamin! Benjamin! Hey. Angus! Ooh. Angus! Very important in what we do is that it's not a ghetto of disabled people doing disabled theatre. We, as often as possible, we bring in non-disabled people, in this case, actors from Arts Educational School, recent graduates from there, and some fairly famous people who are coming along to read the prologue each night. And, yeah, that mixture is what makes it interesting. I suppose it's quite special for our disabled performers, but actually they terrifically take it in their stride. And I remember saying to one of them, you, you never seem terribly sort of nervous about doing this. And he said, no, I've been stared at all my life. It's no big deal being up on a stage. How um, do you feel about it? I'm just a bit of day to... Excited? Is there anything you're sort of like worried about or...? Nope, never. No? It's always a challenge to negotiate a, a new environment as a blind performer. I expect I'll have some nerves on opening night possibly every night, but I expect there'll be buckets of adrenaline rather than full-on nerves. Um, Nick is an amazing actor, singer, dancer, and he's done Orpheus before mm. at Royal Opera House, which I didn't realise, which is oh. awesome. This, this he, here is Simon, and a big supporter of Manchester United, and also, and also a, bi a big game console player. 
I, I'm also a bit of a game player myself. <laughs> 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 Why don't you hook up and play this some games? This is a meeting of mine. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. This is really good. Thank you very much. My role in the musical is playing the um, is play is playing the she is playing the shepherd. So I've got to do um, I've got to do some acting and some singing, and we are going to do it in the West End show. The rehearsals are going well. It's um, it's quite a short rehearsal period. It's, that's an understatement. It's a very short rehearsal period. So everyone's very calm. Um, no major dramas. It's going well. But yeah, there's a lot to think about at the moment. <clears throat> Trying to get a balance um, to make everyone feel that they are equal on one level, directed in the same way, learning the same way. Um, but within that, there are lots of different individual needs. And that's not actually just, doesn't just apply to the disabled actors, that applies to the professional actors as well. Yeah. The figurehead is 40 gold pieces. That's a lot. Mm. Uh. It takes 20 craftsmen five years to craft the figurehead from a single orange tree. Then it is season just two years more. Mm. I can give you the money now, but I'm afraid I will need the ship tomorrow. Tomorrow yes. you shall have it. The first time we see you, you've got the t-shirt on with the dragon on, and then you've got the golden fleece. A little bit hard working, but that's the theatre life, I guess. Well, it's trying to keep in tu tune with the with the songs, try to put in movement. together when we had all the cast together and the band and the sound effects because in the rehearsals um, every so often they'd say something like thunderclap crash and, and it's, it was great to hear the, the lion growling dogs and the thunderclaps <laughs> exactly, and then we didn't look at the glove. Look at that. I think just spending spending the, the two weeks we've been rehearsing with them and watching them grow as like not just as performers but as like people as well, and they've came out of their shell more and more as the rehearsal process has went on. Obviously, I'm 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 I'm, I'm nervous. It's it's, it's 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 difficult, but it's it's always the same. It's always I think it's always like this that when you um, before tech, you know, you you just think that. Uh, When's it going to come together? When's it going to come together? And then, you know what it is? It's one of those things that we'll get up there tomorrow night and everyone will just be like, and it will all just sink and it'll fly and we'll be fine. Now I can show the rest of the group to the rest of the people my performance skills and my singing skills. You're lonely, I'm lonely, can't you see? It's great. You should be very proud of what you're doing, and I hope you will invite people to come and watch you because it's, you know, it's impressive and exciting. Um, yeah, <laughs> the joy goes out of it a little bit. Um, in this part of the process. Sorry. <laughs> it's very emotional because I feel like these guys, they're being so patient and so good. It's, it's 
it's a lot. You know, it's a lot for them to travel into London every day, let alone be part of a process like this, which is hard and long and arduous and a little bit um, uncertain because we're stopping and starting so much. You've done fantastic work up to this point. I'm extremely proud. And so now, just thanks, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> now, just lots of focus, lots of lots of energy. Okay, lots of clarity. And uh, yeah, do your best. Do do your do your best. Do your best. It's been uh, quite long. Um, uh, so it's been a so it's been a, a big challenge um, but it's been so much fun. I think the highlight for me was hearing the song um, It's Not Easy Being Me for the first time and like really listening to it because obviously it is that double meaning of, makes sense within the plot of the story but as well about their disabilities too I think it was quite a moving moment for me I sort of went oh wow that's that's so lovely. It isn't easy being me, but this is who I have to be. have to face the challenge on my own. The audience who had paid top not not to come here, here and see what what how we people with different dis. Abilities can do anything in the West End.